So sometimes life throws at you adventures of its own, even though you're planning on doing something. True. Uh, this morning we were planning on taking you guys somewhere, which you, if you're on our Instagram, you'll see that we put a sneak peek up on where we're going today. Yep. Um, the time right now is about 9.45 in the morning, and we intended on being at that place right now, but mm. our little man had a hard time last night and decided to wake up at 2.30 in the morning and then not fall asleep until 9 a.m. Mm. So he's snoozing right now, and soon enough, after we get a bunch of coffee in us, because we've been up the same amount of time as him. Cruise fish ender gift. Oh yeah, uh, that's Matt got that mug from a uh, fish extender gift uh, from our cruise. Mm -hmm. But once he gets up, we'll get dressed, we'll get ready. In the meantime, we're doing a little bit of cleaning quietly so the little man can sleep. He's asleep on our bed, by the way, yeah. so. Yeah, we're going to do also some marinating and some food, so this way when we get back from our uh, trip to uh, Brookfield. Spoiler alert! Yeah. Spoiler alert. So, yeah, well, you guys will see it in the title. Yeah, we're we yeah. headed to, to Brookfield too today. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> uh, but when we get back, that way I can go ahead and fry up the grill. Everything will be marinated and ready to go. We're also going to have a couple people over. Yeah. Especially we've got some friends that are leaving us to go on a new adventure out of themselves to a new state in a new city. Mm, they're but moving away. They leave next weekend and we're kind of having a impromptu like last friend grilling thing totally casual kind of minor going away party so mm -hmm. you know the good stuff yeah and that's about it something simple something easy the sun is actually finally coming out mm -hmm. it was supposed to be some rain this morning but it passed us yeah. so it won't be so muggy outside we're we're just delayed a little bit because life kind of threw us a curveball last night yeah. and uh we just wanted to share with you guys that uh, adventures might not be always going places and doing things. It might just be staying at home and helping each other out, you know? Yeah. So now here we are. We're going to do stuff and we'll see you guys in a little bit when we head out. Uh, hey, buddy, what you doing? I am making um, cauliflower so we can grill it. So the basic ingredients are uh, salt, pepper, garlic. I tossed it around and then I added a uh, grated Parmesan on top. Now I'm about to go ahead and put about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of butter, wrap it up with aluminum foil, and then when we're ready to grill, just throw it on the outer edges and just let it slow cook. Yeah. We also do that similar to a potato thing that my wife does. With like, the potatoes, we add onions yeah, to it though. Onions, dill, butter, and all, but yeah. they're really nice because they get all cooked and good. We're we're tr we're doing low carb, so we wanted uh. A veggie side that isn't going to be the Brussels sprouts that we're going to make later. So we wanted something we can also throw on the grill. That's more than a tablespoon. <laughs> that's, a lot. that's a tablespoon. There you go. Because yeah, that one's kind of uneven. Good thing. gracious, man. Hey, man. If it's buttery, it's buttery. We we right now we have this uh, greenfield butter, which is like Irish butter. Yeah, greenfields right there. Um, and it's kind of like a, a slightly cheaper version than Kerrygold, which we really like a lot. <clears throat> so Matt got done with his cauliflower packets and I am marinating up some chicken. So we like to do things a little differently because um, we're we never make anything the same ever. Uh, so I made a little spice rub, oh not a spice rub, a marinade spice thing, a little purple that is Jamaican jerk seasoning, a little bit of Italian herbs and dry mustard. And I'm going to mix that all together and put it on the chicken, rub it around as much as I can, and then um, put some oil on it with a little bit of water and let it just sit in the fridge, uh, soaking in all that water. It comes out usually really juicy on the grill. Very excited. <laughs> we haven't grilled in quite a long time. We actually haven't grilled it all this summer, and that's unusual for us. So we're going to, we're definitely going to do that very soon. Um, and then after that, Little man's awake, so we are going to be heading out very soon. It's about 10.20 right now, and we're going to be heading to the zoo shortly. We made 
Here we are, Brookfield Zoo in Brookfield, Illinois. About 10, 15 minute drive outside of Chicago. We haven't been here in about a year and a half, so we're super excited to go see what's new and to see our little man experience Let's animals see. for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's been to a zoo, just not this particular one. Uh, we did get the general admission through the uh, Chicago Public Library Museum Pass. If you are a Chicago resident and you haven't gotten your public library card yet, go get it. You can go get these kids kids passports, museum passes. Uh, they get you free admission, general admission to a bunch of different places. Yeah, it's two adults, two children is limit per pass. Yeah. So those are great. Um, also parking here is 14 bucks. It yeah. does not come included with the pass. So that you have to pay that regardless unless you are a uh, Brookfield member. Yeah. Those people get in for free. So yeah, parking's not included at any of the locations, unfortunately. But yeah, it's been it's been pretty great so far, and we're super excited to get inside. We'll see you guys in a second. Rawr. Give you an idea <laughs> of how big this place is. Uh, their map is. Uh, pretty true to scale here, yep. actually. Uh, it There's so much to do and see. We just got inside. Uh, first thing you see, of course, is Line and Kugel's booth. They do have beer and wine here at the zoo. Uh, and the next thing you see is the carousel further on down here, along with some kinder care and soft pretzels and such. Is that a camel? Wow. Our first stop is into the Australia Pavilion. <laughs> it kind of stinks in here, but I have a feeling it's because one of the animals has just taken a poo. More than likely the bats. <laughs> Most of everybody is like, oh, these guys are sleeping still. You can kind of, well, kind of see them right there. But they are sleeping right now. But Pew, it is very stinky in here. Thank goodness you guys don't have smell-o-vision. We're gonna go into an area where we got uh, bats and nocturnal animals, so we're gonna make sure the flash is off, because it will disturb them. So that's what we're gonna do. And also, we have to be super quiet. Look at the echidnas. Look at those guys. Oh, that one's playing with his little toy. There are kids in there. Wombat! Nice enclosure. So, this is the bat exhibit. We can't have any flashes on, so. Oh. Yep, I got him. He is Batman! That was the Australian exhibit area it's a little small but it's nice but it does get crowded really fast i wanted to come over here and show you guys this real fast you're only going to find these someone in chicago right over here is a molo rama these things have been around the city of chicago forever i remember when they were just a dollar three dollars still that bad now they used to just be coins and bills now you can actually use a credit card but basically you put your money in and it molds and you rely on now they have them at the field museum brookfield zoo Lincoln Park, Museum of Design and Industry, I believe also the Art Museum and uh, Shed Aquarium. And they're always different. There's a guy that runs it still. They discontinue it, but he still has a lot of the old settings, but he also is working on building more unique ones. It's something to do. I actually have a small little collection of it. They're fun to get, but they're also extremely hot when you get them. So <laughs> you gotta hold them upside down when you get, uh, unlock them. Przewalski's Wild Horse. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Cool, man. I completely agree, sir. He's a pretty sweet guy. Looks like they're being beleaguered by flies, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, God, I feel, I feel like we're like right on top of them. This is great. Here at the Habitat Africa, uh, there is a giraffe feeding area that you can go into. And you can, uh, you can feed a giraffe. How amazing is that? Look at this. Oh my gosh. That long black tongue. Oh, yeah, it looks like you have to buy the tickets up front, but you can get really personal with a draft. Oh, buddy just wants some lettuce. This poor guy is reaching so hard. 
Oh, that's so good. Cool thing about Brookfield is that they do understand that our, our summers are pretty hot. So they usually have these misters. They're kind of placed throughout the park. This one is themed like giraffes because we're right by the draft area, which is kind of great. This is my favorite moment of the day today. Look at that. <laughs> you never know where the next guy will come out and look right at you. Hi, Biggin. How you doing? The exhibit that my aunt would hate is the bird exhibit and they are free. Oh, man. Hi, guy. How you doing? Yeah, there's birds pretty much everywhere flying right by us. There's a guy manically just doing some uh, grass. It's like, no, I hate it. I hate it. It's not my aesthetic. Look at this guy. Like, how do I, how do I make myself look bigger? I gotta look bigger. Got it. Gotta look bigger. That's a dwarf mongoose pup. That's a baby. Those are little babies. Oh my god, just see the flip you just did. As so much as I want to say, hey, Pumbaa, these are red river hogs. They are not warthogs. And those are little uh, antelope. We're headed into the bear wilderness now, which is Matt's favorite place to be, right, baby? You got wolves, you got bears, both uh, brown, black, polar. There's also a plain area for bison. But yeah, it's, so far it's been a beautiful day and we're really happy to be here. Through the tunnel right into the Great Bear Wilderness, the first thing that we see are Tatanka, which is Lakota for buffalo. My gracious, look at these guys. And now this is probably as close as I have ever been to a buffalo for a sweet and, you know, placid and cuddly and they look. They can charge and they, I don't know how much they weigh, probably like 700 pounds or more. Oh, no, 800, 900 pounds. <laughs> I don't know, but they, on the side, on the they, uh, they can be quite aggressive and their horns can be quite sharp in the wild. This is about as close as I've ever been to one outside of being in uh, Yellowstone. They're walking directly next to our car, which was so scary. These things are enormous. And yeah, there you go, Matt, there he goes. Matt's petting one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on, onward towards the, the rest of the bear exhibits. All right, there we go. There's the map right there. So we are there. We're going to go that way, then down, then boom, through that, and come back out. So this is the training window for the grizzly bear. Oh, that's a grizzly bear. So this is the grizzly. It's really hard to see with the glare, but he's like, he's like right there. Well, it's so hard to see. So the grizzly training window is right back there. And if we turn to our right, here is the main grizzly area. There's bits and bob inside of their area right now because they just had, it looks like they were just given a gift uh, that was filled with corn so they could like tear it up. <laughs> yeah, this is the polar bear side. So this is the polar bear enclosure. But as you can see, there's like bits and bobs of cardboard. It looks like they were filled with corn. And right now the, uh, the polar bear is actually in a training session at the Swan Lake area, which hopefully we'll be able to get a good look at. Here is our polar bear, doing what polar bears would do in the summer and just kind of hanging out, sitting in the water. Look at the, the refraction of the above and below water. But yeah, there's the, our big guy. I don't remember if this if this uh, polar bear is male or female. I believe it's a male. Yeah, I see he might blow some bubbles for us. <laughs> so this is the area that I was thinking of whenever the polar bear is out and they do a training session. They've got this really tall piece of plexiglass, uh, like bulletproof glass type of thing. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it, but on the other side there's scratch marks and like you can see paw prints in the glass like swiping because what they'll do is they'll have them stand all the way up all all like 10 feet of them or more one final location for one of the uh, the polar bears is right here this is called swan lake area 
So he's in a training session right now here at Swan Lake. Stretch that neck, stretch it. Tiny little bit of wayfinding since we have been kind of all over the place. Uh, here's the Bison Prairie Grill, which is the entrance of the bear exhibit is right here. So we just kind of went in a big circle. And then it ends here at a gift shop, just like any other theme park. <laughs> just outside the bear area, there are two Moldoramas. This one is a brown bison. We have a silver bald eagle. We stopped in to uh, have some lunch. We brought some lunch with us today, uh, just to have like a little bit of a picnic. And then we are gonna continue heading on and um, have some fun with our little man. There's a petting zoo that we might go do, or there is a splash pad here and a play place. So he's gonna run around and get exhausted, which is <laughs> the point. Yeah, so we made uh, we made our lunch today, but if you don't bring your own food, that's okay too because Brookfield's got you covered. They have a great cafeteria, tons of selection as you're walking through the park, uh, but a really great selection inside of their cafe near the penguin exhibit. Um, they have like burgers and tenders and fries like like you would normally see, but they also have things like pasta and taco salad, salad and things like that. So there's a lot of options here. Uh, so if you forget your food, you're covered. But we're gonna get moving in just a little while, but first, first, some food. This play place is super awesome. Wow, these guys are super close. We're just off the play area and Matt goes, oh hey, the buffalo are really close and they, they aren't joking. These guys are maybe, Maybe 10 feet from us. Like, I can not just see their breathing, but like, or panting as it will. This one's losing some of its fur because it's the summer. Look at that big guy over there. These are really close. We're heading towards the Living Coast because there is a splash pad just outside of the penguin encounter. We're going to see if it's turned on today and see if little man wants to get a little splashy. Oh, and here's the food court. <clears throat> they have multiple areas around uh, around the park, but this is like the main food court where they have uh, lots of different options. So we have the food court, and then we turn to the right a little bit, and straight ahead is the Living Seas, where they have the penguins. Here's our wonderful splash pad. It's not probably the most biggest splash pad, but it does it's what it needs to do, right? Upon some uh, construction fencing. And it looks like they are adding a whole new area called the Hamill Family Nature Plaza. The Hamill Family does have some other areas on Brookfield right now, but it looks like this new nature area will be much larger than any of the other Hamill area, mm -hmm. Hamill Family Nature areas. Okay, so I was talking about the Molo Ramos thing. As we're walking towards, uh, heading towards the exit, I came across here and saw this sign, so I'm about to show you guys this sign. It gives you a location of every Molarama and which one they are. So this is the Molarama layout. It tells you where everything is. It tells you all the different animals this time. So if you're missing anyone from your collection, you can get them here. Uh, oh, they got a cockatoo. I don't have a cockatoo. I don't even have the three monkeys. I do have the alligator, the lion, the penguin, the eagle, the bison, the giraffe, seal, dolphin. I don't have the otter or the cockatoo. Those are the only two. I can actually get those right now too. Nope. That's for another time. But if you're looking for it, it's near just past the penguin exhibit as you're walking towards the gorilla uh, exhibit or well, primate exhibit. And uh, yeah, so if you're looking to fill out your Molarama collection, come here. They tell you where everything is. You can take a snapshot and then go on the hunt. We're going off road walking. We finally made it to the rhino exhibit. But he is an Eastern black rhino. But yeah, look at the rhino. Let's try to zoom in on him a little bit. There he is. He's just chilling. I know, a rhino. Might be a little hard to see, but that is a sleeping hippo. Just chilling half in the water, totally asleep. Matt says it reminds him of himself when he's tired. <laughs> we are headed out of the park already. Uh, we are doing so because one, it's a little crowded, 
Two, it's getting a little hot. And three, we made other plans later on today, as we kind of told you about earlier this morning. Yeah. Uh, so we have to get home and get ready to, for people to come over. So we're gonna make this part one of a two-part video for Brookfield Zoo. We so yeah. we'll probably come out here in a few weeks yeah. and just kind of have a good time. But on our way out, let me show you guys one of my favorite things about Brookfield Zoo, oh, the carousel. It. This carousel was specially made for Brookfield Zoo, featuring many of the animals that are here. So as you can see, instead of the regular horses you would see on a carousel, they have both moving and stationary animals, things like dolphins and tigers, you know, gorillas and pandas. They have all of those animals here or have had that at some point. They actually do have dolphins here, by the way, we just haven't gotten to it yet. But I love this carousel. Matt is heading off to go help our little man get all dressed again. Oh, quick note, I wanted to let you guys know that if you don't have a stroller with you because you're traveling and you still would like to come to Brookfield, they do have strollers for rental. They are $14 for the day with a $10 refundable deposit, which I thought was pretty great, honestly, for a stroller. And the stroller are, are double width, so they fit two kids. Um, definitely recommended though for kids over the age of two because um, they're, they're kind of big and they're kind of rocky and they're the hard plastic ones that you would normally see at theme parks they have them here too uh, they're, I wouldn't really see that they would be very comfortable for infants um, yeah it's been kind of a fun day uh, all right guys that's us for today yep. uh, it was so nice having you with us as always uh, let us know what you guys liked or disliked about uh, being here at Brookfield. Was there something you wanted to see more of? Because we're definitely coming back to yeah. finish up doing the park because this park is so large. Yeah, we only did the east side. The west side, we didn't go by at all. Yeah, so we're going to have to come back definitely to uh, kind of fill in the rest of it. Uh, we missed out some of the more exciting areas, which are the dolphins, the primates, and the big cat area. And also the children's petting zoo area. Oh yeah, there's a children's petting zoo here too, along with a lot of other experiences. The next time we come out, we'll plan a much longer day, hopefully on a much cooler day. It's very warm, Yeah. but we're headed out. Um, leave a comment below on what you liked and if you, there's anything you want to see more of. Uh, thanks so much and we'll see you guys on our next okay. adventure.